Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt, aka Moose, and we're going to be starting a brand new series for you guys called... Actually, I don't know what it's going to be called yet, but what it's going to be is Deatomizer Strikes for Subs, and that's where I need you guys to come in. I need you guys to think of a catchy name that I can name this series, because I was going to do like Wednesday Night Nukes or Nukes for Subs, but I want to see what you guys got, because I want something catchy for this new series and pretty much what it is is exactly what it sounds like I'm going to be hopping on my subs account and just getting nukes you know whoever needs a nuke still whoever needs that calling card uh, I'll be more than willing to hop on and get you guys a nuke again I'm not the crazy guy I'm not like a shiny dogs or a Korean where I can just jump around and fly around and snap onto targets and you know just get really really sweet feeds I'm more of a conservative nuke player as you guys are gonna see with both of these gameplays because we do have back-to-back -back the atomizer strikes which was actually a first time for me actually there's a few first times I've never got a nuke on throwback that I can recall I've never got a nuke where we've lost the match like you saw in the beginning here and I've never got back-to-back -back nukes in the same two games like back-to-back -back. like I've got a couple of nukes within like you know 10 games which is you know average when I'm going for nukes but I've never got them back-to-back -back. so a couple of first times here for me I was very excited and honestly I've never raged so hard like even though I got the nuke at the end of this gameplay, I was so pissed being like, you know, the, the gameplay was like subpar. We lost <laughs> we lost the goddamn match. And I was like, oh, you know, I just put all this work into this and I just can't show some shitty deatomizer gameplay with us losing. So amazingly I stayed in the lobby and I got another deatomizer strike. I was so excited and I actually got nervous on that second one. Like like when I was first getting nukes, and I think this is the same for most people but when you start first getting nukes you do get nervous and that's why a lot of people miss that last kill or two they just get so nervous and anxious and you know I don't really get that as often I'm not trying to be like cocky or crazy or anything but you know I don't really get that because if I get a nuke I get a nuke I've, I've gotten plenty in my lifetime so it's not like a, a big deal if I choke a nuke but uh for whatever reason when I was going for that second nuke once I got streaking once I got like 15 kills I was I was actually sweating like I'm like oh my god am I gonna get back-to-back -back nukes here so I was really excited to do that and in case you're wondering about my class setup I do have the NV4 fallout as you guys can see it is suppressed with extended mags and quick draw and on top of that I do have ghost hardline dead silence and gung-ho now the nice thing about the NV4 is I don't need to run it with an elo site it has a decent stock site so that can save up one point and that's where I throw my hard line so I can start streaking get my advanced UAV a lot quicker now some of the things I want to note in this gameplay like I said I'm not the crazy type of nuke guy that can just jump around snap onto targets with ease so I'm very conservative I play with map awareness and like you're gonna see in this gameplay you're never gonna see me run through the barn you're never gonna see me run through the subway tunnel unless I have an advanced UAV because those are the biggest choke points here where there's always an enemy and it's very easy because there's not really much area to shoot so stay out of that barn stay out of the subway tunnel and uh, it's definitely gonna help you out a lot again you're gonna see me only run through it when I have the advanced UAV it's just a very very dangerous spot and then some of the other tips I really recommend is if you're one or two kills off don't be afraid to camp the advanced UAV. It is literally game changing whether you get that second advanced UAV and the first one as well. That second advanced UAV will last you until you get to the nuke, which is really nice. And there you're gonna see right there, 97 to 97. And I call my deatomizer strike and literally the enemy team just lays out three of my guys. So this was hopping into the second gameplay now. And you know, I'm a lot more aggressive. I was just feeling there was no pressure at all. Like once you get that first nuke, I was very happy to get it on the account. Like. I was gonna tell the dude like you know I got the deatomizer it wasn't the coolest gameplay or the coolest ending but I got the deatomizer strike but for whatever reason I'm like I'll play another game on this dude's account I'm just I'm feeling good right now the lobby it's a good lobby to get a nuke in you know uh, there's not like one crazy guy like sometimes 
you run into a good lobby and you get this one guy that's just a complete asshole and he's like a, a three-point KD. So obviously the stars have to line up. You just can't hop into a game and play against a six-man party and hope to get a nuke. That is, that is probably impossible because there's always a slight chance that this one random guy is going to get you. So sometimes you just have to get lucky and get a quality lobby. You have to be on your A game. You have to use your map awareness, know the maps, know your strong points and all that good stuff. Like I said, stay away from the tunnel, stay away from the barn here, and, and just kind of try to stick with your team. Map awareness is huge. Like, I've been playing Call of Duty since the first Call of Duty, and as weird as it sounds, I've always had map awareness. I know how the game works. I know how spawns work. I I invest time into the game. As you guys know, I'm like prestige 18. So that's a decent amount of time invested into this game. And by now, I know the spawns. I know how the game works. So that is a huge point on how to get deatomizer strikes as well. And speaking of that, off topic, well, not really off topic, but I do want to start doing this a lot more. Like I said, I want to turn this into a series. So... If you want, the best way to get your name thrown into the bin, you know, for me to pick somebody to get a nuke on, is just hit me up on Twitter. It's a lot easier to message somebody on Twitter, you know, get your contact info, go back and forth and all that good stuff. It's very tough to do that. Obviously, you're not going to comment below with your username and password. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll post every once in a while that I need an account to hop on to get a nuke. Right now, as it stands, I'm only on PS4, and unfortunately, I don't see that changing anytime soon. I'm just so comfortable with the PS4 right now. I have my scuff controller. So if you're a PS4 user and you need your de-atomizer strike or you want that calling card, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Hit me up. You'll see that um, I do post every couple of days like, yo, give me an account. I need to hop on and get a nuke. And then it's just kind of like a first come first serve. I do have a few people already in line. So once I put that message up, once I tweet that out, go ahead and reply to me. And uh, I'll start keeping track of people that need nukes and hopefully try to go in order as best as I can. But uh, as it stands right now, I've got, got like three or four people in line, so it could be a couple of Wednesdays. And also, depending on how well this video does, will depend on how frequently I upload new gameplay on subs accounts. So, you know, if this video does shitty, it'll probably stay every Wednesday. But if it does decent, I'll probably maybe try to do it every few days. So the nukes will be coming out faster for more people. But it's completely left to you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, or if you enjoyed the deatomizer gameplays, just give it a thumbs up. It's going to help me out a lot. And uh, hopefully we can get a lot more of this going. But other than that, that's pretty much going to be a wrap on the commentary. Like I said, a few things with throwback. You want to stay out of the barn. You want to stay out of the subway tunnel. It's okay if you want to camp for the advanced UAV. If you're like one or two kills off, it's okay because it is a very very crucial part of getting the atomizer strike hardline is also extremely helpful obviously it will get you your streaks faster and just get those uavs and that advanced uavs popping faster and then the last thing i want to go over that i didn't go over is if the enemy gets a counter uav that is actually one of the worst things that could happen to you it will completely mess up your mojo your map awareness and if you don't shoot it down or if your teammates don't shoot it down the best thing you can do is you know you just gotta fall back unfortunately especially if you're streaking now obviously if you just join the match and there's a counter UAV up don't be afraid to go out and like attack but if you're like 15 20 kills deep be very careful with the counter UAV up it's caused me to lose a lot of deatomizer strikes I don't know where my team is I don't know how to play the map and it's probably the worst score streak you can go up against other than like the vulture without blind eye but uh the counter UAV is very deadly, so be careful of that. When it comes to throwback, stay out of the tunnel, stay out of the barn. And again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Always helps me out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Mission accomplished. I knew you had it in you.